Hey guys, uh, I'm just going to be running through how to put a locus map or overview map into uh, QGIS print composition. Um, this is a fairly quick process, but uh, just a few things you need to keep in mind. Um, so basically what we're going to try to do here is provide a bit of context for this map of Rutland Town uh, to give a sense of where it is in the state. So we'll go back and take a look at our layers. Uh, you can see I've added uh, the state boundary and that color symbology is behind the town now. Um, so here we're going to want to uh, do a few things to the map that we've already added. Um, so first order of business is uh, you want to set the preview uh, to cache. Uh, it'll usually be set to render uh, automatically. But uh, once you've set it to cache, then it just stores the, the image that you're seeing right now. Uh, but then more importantly, you want to lock the layers for the map item. So that means whatever changes we make to the map back in the main QGIS analysis interface, this image is going to stay the same. So then the rest of it's pretty straightforward. We just uh, lay out our, our map elements uh, or our, our map data layers here uh, in a way that will give some sense of regional context. So first we'll right click on the layer in the table of contents and zoom to the layer extent of the state boundary. And there's the full thing. And since we don't want sort of a pile of houses or a couple of utility lines or a blur of E911 points on there, I'm just gonna remove all of those and just leave the Rutland Town boundary. And you can see we're also at the scale of the state now. Uh, so going back to the print composer, I just go to add a new map and then drag that into a position that seems appropriate. And then you can see this is just that visible layer. Uh, it's not exactly where I want it, so I can use this uh, move item content tool to uh, move the state around a little bit. Maybe zoom one in there using the scroll wheel. And then just add a tiny arrow there pointing to our area of context. So there you have it. We have a locus map or a uh, overview map on our map composition uh, providing a little bit of sense of regional context and it's saved as before uh, and you can export it to PDF or image uh, or print it however you, you choose to export it.